OK, now it's time to catch up with our commentator, Willie Jackson. What's up with you, Willie? Morena, Scotty. Well, your relation. Uh, <laughs> your relation? Oh, that's what she is, my relation. <laughs> Hekia Parata in trouble. Um, big week for her and a, a huge disappointment, I think, for, for Hekia. One of the things we should remember, it's not just Hekia's fault. She, I think she was set up by her treasury uh, and set up by her advisors. And it was interesting that it was only her in the end sort of uh, coming up with... Uh, uh, the response or the back down, no Bill English to be seen, no uh, Jerry Brownlee, just heck here. And so when, when people say, oh, it's, it's all her fault, it's not all her fault. Badly advised uh, all the way through and uh, a very sad day for her the other day. But what a lot of people are saying now is that this is another one of our great brown hopes for Prime Minister <clears throat> that fallen over. We've had Shane Jones, Winston Peters, mm. JT... In mm. the past few years, looking well, good. JT being, the first, big time, didn't <laughs> being the first Māori Prime Minister. Is this the end for Heka in terms yeah, well, of. Well, you know, position? there are some people who are saying that it's all over. Matt McCartan was saying that the other day, and uh, Bryce Edwards was saying that on QA just earlier. What do you say? I'm not, I'm not sure yet. I think there's still a bit of time to go. You know, she's, she's got a lot of polish. Her problem is that she doesn't listen to what her communities are saying. You see, Heka had the same type of attitude with Moidewa. Mm. Oh, everybody, all the, the Pākehā government, all, the, all her Pākehā mates thought she was great with Moirewa, Raukumara Basin, it was all great. See, it was all fine there because it was all the Maoris. No one cared about the Maoris. <laughs> but what happened here with National, the, what happened here, she hit their, 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 their constituency. These were her people. This, these were National's people, I should say. And when you hit their constituents, that's the, that's the problem. And she took the same type of attitude uh, here. She said, well, look, it's about quality. It's not about quantity, you know. I'm into excellence, those types of things. She was saying the same thing in Moirewa, and Kerry Milne Ihimaida was saying, please meet with our community. Hekia didn't meet with the community. She refused to meet with the community. Same thing here. She refused to meet with the different factions in the education factor, uh, sector. And at the same time, she didn't ask the questions. How will this affect uh, the education sector? How many teachers will I lose? Mm. She never asked key questions. So, so, yes, badly advised all the way through, but also she made some key mistakes as a minister that, that uh, you know, ministers shouldn't make. Education ministers in the past wouldn't have made those same mistakes. Did she handle the back down well? I thought she did. I think she fronted up well, but, I mean, it was a humiliation mm. for the government. Absolute humiliation. And, and she said, this is all on me, and that was very magnanimous of her. Well done, Hekia. But everyone knows that uh, she was directed by Key and English, because it's all about polling here. And this was, this was a tough area for National, because this could be the change where, where, they, where they start going backwards, and it's not going to take much. This may well be it. And is that why they sent Paula Bennett out to make the big statement about, you know, taking... Child abusers. Children off... Uh, making child abusers not have any well, more kids. they're very cunning, these nets. Is that, is that a smoke very... screen to take the heat off here, well, well, I think that... that um, well, I think it was a smoke screen. I think it was a smoke, uh, smoke screen. And you ask the question, should we sterilise child abusers? Well, everybody goes, oh, I suppose so. Should we kill them? If, should they be allowed to have a, another part or an, another chance in life? Uh, and everybody will say no. But the, the real questions with Paula Bennett is, wh where's the support? How's Whānau Order going? Mm -hmm. Why aren't some of our families in Western South Auckland getting all the support that they should get? N no one's asking those questions because this is a very emotional subject, you know, in terms of child abusers. Mm. Should we kill them off? Yes, get rid of them. <laughs> and, and, and then Hickey goes off the front page for half a day or for a day. Yep. It didn't work. Work, but it might have put her forward as the next great brown hope. Very good, Willie. Thank you very much. We'll see you again next week. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Stay tuned for Waka Huia.